Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well today. I have so much tension in my face. I wanted to show you guys what I've been wearing primarily. Well, really just some of my default summer outfits. I don't know if you guys have seen my summer inspiration for Gamines, but I mentioned that I wanted this one pair of shoes from Me Solo, and they finally came in. I finally got them. So grateful because my dog chewed up all my nice shoes. I love her, but I had like only old busted Target sandals from a few years ago, and I just had nothing nice to wear, and so all of my outfits felt like they were just subpar because my shoes were really crummy. So, I thought I would show you a few different summer looks that could look so much better if you just change your shoes. I've tried so many different looks only to have them fail miserably and break my heart because my shoes were not the right shoes. Okay, I'm going to show you a few outfits with it. Um, I am an affiliate with Me Solo, and so I will put a link to these shoes down in the description. If you guys enjoy my channel and my videos, I would really be honored if you chose to support me in that way. If you really like these shoes, they're a great brand to shop with. They have so much stuff on their website that I'm like favoriting, saving you know, screenshotting. Shoes can really make or break an outfit is what I'm discovering. And so I'm going to start really investing in quality footwear. And Nisolo is a good place to start. They're an ethical and sustainable brand. They are based right here in Nashville, Tennessee. It's so cool to be able to not only support a brand I believe in, but also support a local brand. How about that? Follow that link in my description. If you love these shoes, definitely use my link to purchase it because you're helping support me by doing that. And you're getting a great pair of shoes. Woo! How about it? Okay, let's get into these outfits. All right, you guys. Here is the outfit that I was just wearing a few moments ago while I was filming that intro. And, um, yeah, it's a super comfy outfit. The legs look kind of weird on video. I really feel like they don't look like that in person, but we're going to move on. So basically, what happens is I usually will throw on these sandals with everything because they were the only ones that I had, and I was making do with it, of course. They're simple. They're, they're cute, but they are busted. If you saw them in person, you'd be like, girl, your shoes are busted. So immediately, just by adding a new pair of shoes, um, you can see that the outfit feels totally different. At least to me, the, the outfit feels totally different, um, a little bit less casual. And so I decided I would tuck in my shirt, really break up my line at my smallest point, which is my waist. Yeah, I think that's a really really cute look if I were to just run out and run a quick errand, add a little bag to take my life with me. I like the way that the bag also hits at a higher point on my body too. And then to continue this like kind of brown black motif, I wanted to make sure to add some sunglasses. I learned this tip from Audrey Coyne actually. She throws on sunglasses when she needs to add a bit more contrast to her look and tie everything together. So the next outfit is one that I wear all the time, again with my busted sandals, and it is a look. I usually will hike up these drawstring pants and create kind of a jumpsuit effect with my black camisole. I think it's really cute, but I get so cold even in the summertime, and so I'm typically going to be wearing some sort of long sleeve. I layer all the time. This is actually the outfit that I wore on my anniversary last week, it or a few weeks ago, I guess, when this video goes up. I wore this outfit on my anniversary, and I really just felt like, you know, it was so close to being that perfect um, casual elegance that I was going for, even with, like, this clutch here that's also from Nisolo. I believe it's on sale right now, too, so maybe I'll leave a link for you. Wink, wink. So I felt like my outfit was okay and just dressed up enough and it would have really hit home if I had these shoes 
for that date. Am I right? Doesn't it just change the mood? It gives me a couple more inches of height and makes me really feel put together. Now I get a lot of you telling me that you don't necessarily like wearing high-waisted things or wearing your shirt tucked in. Uh, maybe you're sensitive about your midsection. So this is a look that you could do as a flamboyant gamine primarily because it has this cropped layer there and the pants are pretty fitted. So you're juxtaposing the fittedness, which is yin, and then the yang kind of, really the sweater it feels more soft yang. So I think that it provides enough juxtaposition. But of course, I like to wear my shirts tucked in just like this. I like my high-waisted moment because I have a yin waistline, and so I just wanted to make sure to accentuate that but I felt like it was a little bit too dull for me. And so I threw on my yellow cardigan. Ah, I love wearing bright yellow. I just think it's so pretty. It took me a while to warm up to this sweater because it was so bright and warm, but I really found ways to wear it that make me feel like myself. There's my sweet little doggie. Love you, bye. Chewed up all my shoes. Have a great day. She's so cute. Anyway, to add a bit more yang to my outfit, I wanted to add this bag. It's also from Nisolo. It is the Lori tote, which I think is on sale as well right now. So seriously guys, you hit the jackpot on this video, just saying. If you were to overheat, this bag is perfect for stuffing your sweater inside and having an option if you were to enter a building that had air conditioning while still being comfortable and cool in the weather outside. I realized that I forgot to switch shoes, but I want you to try and just close your eyes and use your imagination and understand that that outfit would have been elevated literally by wearing those Nisolo mules. So this button up shirt, I haven't worn in so long, but I tried it on in that video where I tried on all of my clothes and I realized that I forgot I really like this shirt. I love wearing red, and so I think it looks really good. I love half tucking it like this. I think it provides some beautiful asymmetry, and I really feel like it would be a great look for maybe grabbing a beer with friends or something like that. I wear it with something fitted underneath since it is an oversized top, and I think that really pulls it all together. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. What do you guys think? These are just some items that I've really been gravitating toward this summer and how they were really elevated by wearing some new shoes. Some shoes with structures, some shoes with a broken line in them, color blocking in them. I think that these are great shoes for flamboyant gamine if you're ever on the hunt. Obviously not everything that I own and wear is strictly flamboyant gamine, but I can assure you that anything that you want to wear, there is probably a way to wear it that is harmonious with your lines. I hope that you guys found some ideas and some inspiration from this video. Maybe you have pieces like this in your wardrobe that you've forgotten about or maybe you have items that you would like to give another go or maybe find a way to dress them up and make them work for maybe more of a date night or hang out with friends that's a little bit more like upscale. So yeah, let me know what you think of these outfits. Let me know if you would try out anything similar. I'll put item links in the description box below. A lot of the pieces that I own are old. So if the piece is available, then of course I'm going to link that for you. And if the pieces aren't available, I wanna try and find something similar for you, but I also want to find it from a brand that is one I would like to support and like to recommend to you. So if I can't find something like that from a brand that I support, then I want to just encourage you to <laughs> look for something like that from a brand that you support, from a brand that is accessible to you, of course. If you made it this far and you want to hang out with me again, definitely subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Definitely like this video. If you've benefited from following me here on YouTube, then definitely tell somebody else. 
call a friend and say, hey, this is a great channel and I think that it would really be informative for you and interesting for you. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys. Have a great week or weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye.